back lever, tuck, rings. If you are thinking about starting the journey to mastering the back lever, you will most likely begin with the tuck back lever. The tuck back lever on the rings is a straight arm pulling exercise that requires a base level of grip strength, elbow strength and shoulder strength. It also requires a certain level of shoulder mobility. If you have weak wrists, elbows or a shoulder injury, I recommend focusing on these areas before you start back lever training. The tuck version of the back lever is the easiest of the back lever progressions as the length of the body lever is at its smallest. Start by kicking to inverted on the rings. Set a nice tight tuck shape by pulling the knees to the chest and the heels as close to your butt as you can. Push the inside edge of the feet together and keep the knees together to create lower body tension. A solid object is easier to move than a bag of sand. Do not be a bag of sand. The back lever is traditionally performed with a pronated grip, palms facing down. However, if you experience any elbow or shoulder pain using a pronated grip, I recommend switching to a supinated grip to prevent injury and to continue building both strength and mobility in these joints. When inverted, you need to decide which grip to use and turn the rings into this position. It's much harder to change grips once you are in the back lever. The shoulders must stay depressed in the back lever. Never allow the shoulders to shrug up. Pull your shoulder blades back and down towards your back pockets. Now that you've set the tuck shape, depressed the shoulders and decided what grip to use, you want to protract the shoulders and squeeze your arms into the sides of your body to help engage the lats and to keep the rings close. Contract your triceps to keep the elbows locked and grip the rings tight. From here, start to lower the torso down to be parallel to the floor while maintaining the tuck shape. Once you reach the parallel position, continue to depress the shoulders and contract the lats by pushing down on the rings. Hold the tuck back lever for the prescribed time. If you have the strength, you can pull yourself back to the inverted position and lower the feet down to the floor. If not, move into a German hang and place the feet on the floor to walk out of the back lever. I do not recommend letting go of the rings and dropping to the floor. I would typically prescribe 4-5 to five sets between 8-15 to 15 second holds in the tuck back lever. I suggest building up to 15 seconds before you progress to the advanced tuck back lever.